Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series on introduction to Scilab software. This is video part 7 and we are going to solve the question set 6. In the question set 6, we are going to use some built-in functions which are mostly required. The first one is generate a random matrix of order 3 by 6. So how we can generate a random matrix of order 3 by 6 that means 3 rows and 6 columns. So we have the command is rand in the bracket let us write 3 rows 3 comma 6. So as you can see that column 1 to 3 it's a 3 by 3 uh, 3 by 6 matrix 3 rows and 6 columns so it is displayed this way. Now the second is generate a random matrix of order 4 by 5 with integers entry between minus 10 to 10. Now as you have seen that in, if you just write rand and the order we get a random matrix of course but not with the integer entries we get the values between 0 to 1. So for generating a matrix with integer entries, we have the command grand, then 4, 5 is the order, then we are going to write uin, and then we are going to write the range which we want, which is minus 10 to 10. So this way, we got the random matrix with integer entries and in the given range. You can try the third one where we want to generate a random matrix of same order 4 by 5 and the range is different. So we can just change the range. The range is 0 to 99. So this is the range. Now the fourth is find the square root of the numbers. So for the square root we have the command sqrt. The numbers given are, for example, 45. We get the square root of 45. Then we want the square root of 25. The answer is 15. And if you want the square root of 34.89, any number you can try. So we get the answer like this. Now the next is find the absolute value. The absolute value means the modulus value or the mod value. And we have the command abs in the bracket 23 or the second value minus 789. Sorry, minus 789. Enter. So this is done. Now the next is we want to find 5 factorial, 0 factorial or 12 factorial. So built-in function for finding the factorial is factorial in the bracket 5. So it's 120 or the factorial 0 we know that it's 1 and the factorial 12. It's a big number. Now let us do the next one. Find the remainder when 237 is divided by 13. So for remainder we have the command Modulo 237, comma 13. So this is the remainder when 237 is divided by 13. Now the next is find the remainder when a number is given 1723. This is just the factors 4, 5, 6 is divided by 37. With much ease, we get all the answers and this is the answer. Now to find the quotient, what we can do is we can write int means converting to integer part 237 divided by 13. So in this case, what will happen? We get the integral part of this division and that will be nothing but the quotient which is 18. Now same way, we 
the number is 1723.456 divided by 37. So you get the answer is 46 and the remainder part is there. Now the round of 234.56. Now for rounding off the command is R-O-U-N-D round and 234.67. So it gets rounded off to the integral part. Not in uh, with the integral part since it is 6. It will be rounded off to 237. Now let's see the next 237 point that is rounded off another number 237.2345. So it is again rounded off to 237. Then let us see 237.5. So it's 238. The last one which we have already seen when where we were doing the syllabus calculator part. So in that we have seen the sine, cos and exponentiation function. So let us do one more time. Sine of 30 plus exp minus 2.5. That means e raised to minus 2.5. So this way we have seen few of the built-in functions which are required. Now in the next lecture we, have, we will see the matrices and the related terms. So till then, goodbye, take care and let us continue in the next lecture. Thank you so much.